now let's discuss about the Arden's theorem and the proof of Arden's theorem. So come, let's begin it. Now let's discuss the Arden's theorem. This Arden's theorem we have already discussed in our previous videos and we have learned some concepts, the identities related to Arden's theorem and we have used the Arden's theorem in our numericals also. So let's quickly revise the theorem and then we will move on to the proof of Arden's theorem. The Arden's theorem said that if PQR are regular expressions over sigma, sigma is an alphabet that will contain the input symbols for the regular expression, such that the regular expression P does not contain null, then the equation R is equals to Q plus RP will have a unique solution R is equals to QP closure. When we were converting a finite automata to a regular expression, we used this Arden's theorem many times. You can see the videos. So now, when we have discussed this Arden's theorem already, we will now discuss about the proof of Arden's theorem. We will prove that this statement has this unique solution. Let's begin with the proof. To discuss about the proof of Arden's theorem, we will proceed in two parts. The first part, in the first part we will assume that Arden's theorem is true. Then if Arden's theorem is true, then the equation R is equals to Q plus RP has a unique solution R is equals to QP closure as we have assumed that the Arden's theorem is true. Then in the place of this R, if I substitute QP closure, Q plus in the place of this R I am substituting QP closure because Arden's theorem is true, we have assumed and here is p let's take out q common here null is left and here p closure p is left now from the identities of regular expression the identity were null plus p closure p is equals to null plus p p closure and which is equals to p closure that means this whole can be substituted with p closure so we get q p closure that means we have got from r is equals to q plus rp r is equals to qp closure this is how when we assume that arden's theorem is true now let's discuss the second part of this proof now in the second part the equation of the arden's theorem is r is equals to q plus rp in the place of this r this r can be again be substituted as q plus rp like this q plus in the place of this r Q plus RP. Why? Because R is equals to Q plus RP. In place of this R, we again substitute the same and where we are left with P. So it will become Q plus QP. This Q is multiplied with this P plus RPP. Now again in place of this R, I will substitute Q plus RP. It will become Q plus QP plus Q plus RP and here outside we have pp let's expand it q plus qp this q with this pp qpp plus r three times p now what we are exactly getting is q plus qp plus qpp plus up to infinity qpi plus again if we recursively substitute in the place of r this is what we get q p i any number of p's first there is no p 1 p 2 p 3 p's 4 p's and up to i p's it will proceed and here the term with r the term with r will contain number of p's which are just more than the previous term if there are 2 p's here then there are 3 p's if there was 1 p here then there were 2 p's 2 p's 3 p's that means if there are i p's there here r will contain i plus 1 piece this is how it will be expanded so now let's take out the q common from these terms so q is common here null here p here pp up to infinity here p raised to the power i and plus r p i plus 1 this is what we have got after taking the p common uh, q common now what we have to do in the place of this r i will substitute qp closure because we just proved when we assumed that the arden's theorem is true we got this unique solution so q null plus p 
प्लस पी पी प्लस पी रेस टू दी पावर आई प्लस क्यू पी क्लोजर पी आई प्लस वन नाउ अगेन फ्रॉम दिस दिस टर्म दिस होल टर्म एंड दिस टर्म वी कैन अगेन टेक आउट क्यू कॉमन सो इट विल बिकम क्यू दिस विल बी एज इट इज पी प्लस पी पी प्लस पी रेस टू दी पावर आई वेन वी टेक आउट क्यू कॉमन फ्रॉम हेयर आई विल गेट प्लस पी क्लोजर पी आई प्लस वन दिस इज वट वी हैव गॉट नाउ सी दिस टर्म द पी क्लोजर पी आई प्लस वन दिस इज नथिंग बट पी क्लोजर वाई बिकॉज एनीथिंग मल्टीप्लाइड विद पी क्लोजर विल गिव अस पी क्लोजर दिस इज द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन दैट मीन्स इफ इट इज पी और पी पी और पी आई और पी आई प्लस वन इट विल ऑल्सो गिव पी क्लोजर सो आई हैव रिटर्न इट एज पी क्लोजर ओनली नाउ सी दिस टर्म वट इज दिस Here there is null one p two p three p four p any number of p. What is this? This is nothing but whole is p closure. What is p closure? P closure will contains no p one p two p three p and up to any number of p. Any number of p are represented by p closure only. So the whole is substituted with p closure and we get q p closure, which is the unique solution of our Arden's theorem. that means there is no other way by which we can reach the another solution of r is equals to q plus rp every time we will get the same solution r is equals to qp closure therefore it is the unique solution and arden's theorem is true i hope the proof of this arden's theorem is clear to you if you still have any doubt in any of these steps you can ping me on the email address that is mentioned in the description of the video please see the full description of the video also as in the description i have given many other important links also if you liked our video please hit the like button please share it and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please hit the subscribe button also thank you